Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create MIDI sends in Reaper. As a quick review, if you want to send audio from track to track, you can just drag and drop it from one track to another. For example, I have a guitar track here, which sounds like this. Let's say I want to send this to another track. I can just turn off the master parent send right here, and we're not going to hear it on this track. Create a new track over here, drag and drop from the routing to this track, which creates a send of the audio from one and two to one and two on the return track, this one here. So now if I play it, we hear the guitar from this track. So that's how you do it with audio. But we can do the same thing with MIDI. For example, let's say you're working on a piano track. I have one here. I have a piano virtual instrument plugin already on here. So if I go into record with input monitoring turned on, we should hear the piano. And we do. But if I want to record multiple parts, one on top of each other, or layer them, we could do this with sends. So let's create a new track down here. Take this track out of record. Set up the input to be a USB MIDI keyboard. Turn on input monitoring and put it into record. So if I play the keyboard, I see input on the meter here. But now I can create a MIDI send to this track where the piano plugin is. So let's do the same thing drag and drop our routing from this track to this track. Notice how the cursor changes to a patch cable. Letting us know we're creating a send. Just drop it, and by default, it's sending audio again, which we don't need. We just want to send MIDI. So we can turn this off, but we can see by default, it is sending MIDI. All the MIDI channels, by default, or we can choose 1 through 16, or create separate buses if we need more, and it's sending to all the MIDI channels on our piano as well, 1 through 16, or using buses, which is more helpful if you're using a multi-channel virtual instrument. In this case, we're not. So we can just choose all. So it's sending MIDI from this track to this track. So now if we play the keyboard, we hear it over here, even though it's going to record over here. Now what's the purpose of this? Well, if we want to layer parts, we're going to want to use multiple tracks, multiple MIDI tracks. So we don't want to create multiple pianos or multiple plugins. We just want to send it all to this track, where the virtual instrument plugin is. So let's record a part. Now, if we want to layer this with a separate melody, we can create a separate track. So let's create another track down over here. And again, set up our input to be MIDI, USB MIDI keyboard, turn on input monitoring, and put it into record. Now we'll send from this track to the piano track. Again, we could turn off the audio and just leave the MIDI. Now we could put down a melody on top of our chords. And just like that, we have a piano part that we played in two different passes.
which is great for people like me who can't really play piano. We could play one part at a time. And it's also very helpful for drums. Let's check out a drum track. I have one right over here that already has drum sounds assigned to it. Kick, snares, hi-hats, and toms and cymbals. And again, if we play it from the keyboard, But again, I might want to record my part in separate passes. So I might want to do this on separate tracks. So I can create a separate track down here. But before we do that, let's check out the preferences. Under Options, go down here to Preferences. Then we'll go down under Project to Track Send Defaults. And I'm going to change my recording configuration to turn on. Monitor input, an automatic record arm when track selected. That'll make it quicker when we create new tracks. But also, I want to turn off the option right here. Sends send audio by default. So when we create them, it's just going to send MIDI by default. We're going to want to change this back later, but for this purpose, we just need this selected. So now I'm going to create a new track. It's already set up with my USB MIDI keyboard, input monitoring turned on, and it's in record. So I can create a send to the drums. Drag it over, and as you can see, it's not sending audio by default, but it is sending MIDI, which is what we want. So I can put down a drum part one track at a time, like this. Now let's say we want to put down our ride symbol on a separate pass. We can create a new track, and once again, send it by drag and dropping right here. And once again, it's not sending audio, it's just sending MIDI. So ready to go that easily. And finally, let's say we wanted to add a fill at the end. Make a new track and send it to the drum track. And once again, it's not sending audio, but it's sending MIDI. And just like that, we have a drum part that we layered in three separate passes, but sent it all to the one drum track where all the sound is coming from. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create MIDI sends in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.